about ready to uh, have my breakfast and uh, head on out to work. But <laughs> let me show you right quick what um, my mom gave me before I forget. So, um, and uh, if you missed the other vlog, the other day's vlog, I went over to my mom's house and we decluttered a little bit, and I took some stuff over to her skincare wise that I didn't need that she could use. And she in turn had some things that she's like, hey, I'm not using this. And I was like, yes, I totally need that. Um, but first of all, I um, here I just have my little Bubba cup from that I got at Walmart. And I am totally loving him. I'm going to put um, my... Uh, my rose hip tea and him today and take him in the car on the way to work and I'm loving that but this was the mechanism of the straw I wanted to show you guys see how cool that is a little swizzle feature so loving that and then one of the things my mom gave me that I'm totally stoked about is check out this like antique um lime squeezer doohickey I am so I mean my lime water game just got so sophisticated it's like I'm a mixologist here people I mean look at that how awesome um and then she also gave me this little cheapy plastic one for like uh lemon halves wherein you put um it's actually cool and it's we've had it for a while it's actually pretty good quality it just looks a little cheapy but you put the lemon half in there and then you just mash this down and, and turn it and then the juice goes into the bottom and you can pour it out so no mess love 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 that um and then you know now that i'm into the rose hip tea um she had this bobble doodle that I guess I could put the, the hips in if I wanted to do just a single cup and you know dangle it down on in there um, and then how sweet is this it's an eighth of a cup measurement I mean that is awesome it's basically uh, the equivalent of two tablespoons 30 ml so that is awesome and um, then <laughs> Who doesn't need another veg peeler? I mean, this girl can always use more vegetable peelers, right? Um, and then she gave me this little funnel doohickey that's also pretty nice. Um, I guess you could use this for like um, consolidating um, soaps and stuff, but um, as you saw yesterday, I think I collected my rose hips in it uh, when I was straining my tea. So love that, mom. And um, an offset knife because these are always handy for spreading stuff on um a random spoon because who doesn't eat with spoons um and then these one slotted spoon and one jumbo spoon these are great for like serving yourself up stuff out of a big big thing like my uh crock pot cabbage for example and then you guys may have noticed that I do love grapefruits and oranges, and this thing takes me back to childhood. I haven't seen one of these in ages. It's for peeling a um, orange, so that I'm probably gonna take with me in my bag today because I've got an orange, so love that. And then she also gave me this bag of cheesecloth, so I know I'll use that maybe for nut milk making, um, which I need to get back on. I am totally behind in that. So. Um, yeah, I've got my breakfast here. I'm having um, my coffee. This is one of those mugs that I got way back when at Pier 1. I just decided to have it in this today because Totoro is in the washing dishwasher with my beauty dust in there. And then I've got one of my dissolving, then I've got one of my dissolving biotins and my hideous caltrate and some more water. This is liter number one, I am almost through with. And then my cauliflower oats, topped with my cauliflower oats, uh, which I have a recipe for that if you're interested in uh, the lifestyle uh, playlist of my channel, but um, I just top it with some of this golden, golden goddess chocolate elixir with turmeric. This has the adaptogens in it, namely Ulithero and ashwagandha, and I really love it. And I have just, yeah, I've just topped it with uh, some sprinkling of that and some sliced strawberries, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have that and head on out to work. So that is what is going on. Hey guys, so I um, am reapplying my, I'm putting on a little vanny cream here. Clinic, I'm on the uh, noon hour. Still loving this. And I just, uh, before I, I left, I put on a layer of this. Um, my UV Sport LTMD, who I am also loving. And I've got my lunch here. Shout out to Bubba. I put ice in him this morning and it's still intact. The ice is not melted. And I finished my uh, delightful rose hip tea uh, during clinic. 
a little uh, hydration on the go as well as uh, most of my second liter of water and I refilled and still got ice in the cup so not mad at Bubba if you uh, are not uh, familiar with the term Bubba <laughs> it's uh, kind of a term of endearment in the south for uh, uh, a boy uh, usually it's given to like the firstborn son like sweetie or something like that but specifically it usually refers to the firstborn son Bubba it's kind of a term of endearment like like in certain uh, Latin American cultures they say uh, mommy M-A-M-I or poppy see you say mommy or poppy here uh, you know uh, in an area that hasn't heard that they may think you're saying M-O-M-M-Y which is like what what children call their parents mommy and daddy uh, um, so it's just funny, but um, yeah, I was wa watching this Vietnamese vlogger. Do you guys watch her, uh, House of Color? She's got the sweetest little boy, um, and uh, she calls him Gong, and I assume that means uh, sweetie, too. It's so cute. But anyways, let me show you my lunch, because it is delicious. So I have, of course, because Popeye is just my nickname, bed of spinach. Uh, cucumber slices, some of that uh, Mrs. Dash sprinkled on them with a little ACV, apple cider vinegar. And then I've got my uh, garbanzo beans that I made yesterday from Vitacost. So delicious, guys. So delicious. As well as some of my brown lentils. So I'm mixing my legume match here. I've got some celery and then some of my... Um, uh, crock pot cabbage uh, gingered cabbage cook down as I call it and some of that delightful red dulse oh my gosh guys I have to ration this stuff out um, if you're uh, you know what I'm thinking this would be really good on the dulse specifically dulse if you're new here is a Icelandic sea vegetable that I'm rather fond of I think would be really good on pizza instead of pepperoni I never like pepperoni much. I just like plain or veggie pizza. But I think dulse would really kick it up a notch. So I've got that, and then I've got um, an orange here, orangey glad. And thanks to mom, I've got this fantastic peeler hook, so I don't have to get orange peel up under my nails, um, which is good. I don't like stuff in my nails, so that's why I keep my nails cut short. You know. Cutting down on uh, bacterial real estate there, but but anyways, I'm gonna have that and uh, get on back to work. Well, hey guys, work day is done. It is so hot, stinking hot out today. I've got my AC blasting. Um, I just uh, reapplied my sunscreen, of course, before leaving because it is like reflection city all over the place out here. I feel like I'm going out into a battlefield every time I go outside of uh, ultraviolet beams, uh, ready to annihilate my epidermis. You know, I'm speaking to you obviously in the future and you were watching me in the past, but um, um, yesterday would be the uh, kickoff then of the CeraVe uh, product review. So I love CeraVe products, guys, and um, love that they have ceramides and niacinamide in them. I don't, you know, I um, I gotta say, as far as uh, the, the facial wash, um, I'm not aware of an Asian beauty line that's got, um, I know they exist, I, I just am not familiar with them, so somebody give a shout out in the, in the comments below. If there is an Asian fragrance-free uh, facial wash that has niacinamide and ceramides in it. I just got home, and I'm about to go to the gym, but um, um, I don't think I'm going to go outside for my run today, although it is nice. But, um, I thought I would just reapply some sunscreen just for fun. You guys have been asking me about Cetaphil um, products and like why I don't like them. I don't like them just because of my personal experience using them on myself. Like for example, the Cetaphil uh, face washes I just don't find to be very good. They don't remove, uh, you know, minimal make. They don't remove a minimalist makeup. So I just, you know, they haven't worked for me. This is a sunscreen. I um, many of you have asked me about. It is their oil control moisturizer. I don't even know what 
where they get off with something like calling it oil control. I mean, that makes no sense. Um, this is a chemical sunscreen, okay? So if I were going outdoors, which I'm not, um, I'm relying here in the U.S. on Ava Benzone to protect me from the aging rays. And, um, you know, the octo octisalate and octocrylon are largely the, you know, helping with UVB. There's some overlap in there, but the main UVA person in here is Ava Benzone, okay? And so he needs to be applied 20 minutes before going outdoors. This is a chemical sunscreen. If you're confused, make sure you check out my sunscreen Q&As. I explain the difference. But this is comprised of chemical filters and requires 20 minutes before going outdoors to form a protective film. It degrades and so you really, really have to reapply this guy in order to get UVA protection. And UVA is not the component of sunlight that burns your skin. It's the component that instead penetrates much more deeply, damages the collagen framework and ages you. And it also um, lowers your immune system and does contribute to skin cancer formation and you know diseases that are otherwise on the skin um, and exacerbated by ultraviolet light exposure. I don't want to go out there with appropriate sun protective clothing, so it is kind of inhibiting my behavior a little bit and that it's easier to run indoor and that it's easier to work out indoors in the air conditioning. So that is where I'm going and when I get back, I will take a shower and check in with you guys. Well, hey guys, I uh, just got out of the shower and <laughs> sipping on Bubba here with some of my rose hip tea in in here. Um, that appears to be caffeine free, so I think I'm okay post run to have a little antioxidizing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and other other exciting news. So I swung by my PO box today, and look, guys. Um, some one of you sent me these beautiful postcards from South Carolina. I just love them. Um, you went to looks like some of my favorite places in South Carolina. Folly Beach um, by Charleston, and yeah, this is this is Charleston. Um, so for those of you guys who are, um, you know, not in the U.S. and ever considering coming to the U.S., a place that is just really beautiful in the U.S. is uh, is uh, the beaches of South Carolina. They're really um, they're really special. They hold a special place in my heart. We used to go to the beach there a fair amount when I was growing up in um, an area uh, to a beach called uh, Edisto Beach, uh, which is kind of in this area here. This is just a, the most beautiful postcard. It shows the whole state, and it kind of has some pictorial little um, images of everything there. So I just really love those. And then a big thing there is the, the college football uh, rivals. There's the Clemson Tigers and the, um, the uh, Carolina Gamecocks. Um, so the, they, um, they have the game um, together, uh, usually over Labor Day weekend. That is quite exciting. <laughs> so thank you so much for these wonderful postcards. And one of the other special things, if you ever get an opportunity to visit Charleston, it's just a beautiful city. Um, fantastic, amazing beaches that are really, really special and very unique, uh, but just a beautiful little city and very, very historic. And one of the things that they have there that is definitely worth seeing um, is something called Rainbow Row. Um, and look, she sent me this beautiful magnet for my refrigerator. So, and this is Rainbow Row, it's these beautiful painted houses. So yeah, that's very thoughtful of you to have sent me some, some nice memories from your trip. I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. And thank you so much for these beautiful postcards. This is going on my fridge right now. And so, yeah, I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.